In this video, I'll show you how to create a free body diagram question. So I'll just put a name here, and then I'll put some text for the question itself. And this one is about three boxes um, that pass over a pair of massless, frictionless pulleys, and the students have to draw a free body diagram for each box. Now, to do so, I'll go below this, click on response area, on the left-hand side, I will choose the question type free body diagram. And a few things to mention here. The weighting I'll leave as the default of one. The angle tolerance. So the way this is great is that students draw the forces and label the forces. So they, they, they take the force and they determine where it goes between zero and 360 degrees. And if they get those angles correct, they get the correct marks. But you can define a tolerance, so plus or minus in this case, Five is the default, you can change it to 10, you could change it to one if you wanna be very strict. I'll leave the default of five, so if the correct answer for one of the forces is nine degrees, but they put 94, it's still marked correct. You of course need a background image. So right now it's, it's blank, but I'll browse to one on my server right here. And now I have this image here. I now need to define what forces the students will have the option to actually label control points on. So. I'm going to choose gravity, normal, tension, and then the two frictions here, static and kinetic. I can also add more if I want to, um, or even choose distractors that will confuse the students. Um, but I will leave these five for now and click update for section uh, selection below. And then below that, I have to add control points because right now students can't actually do anything with this FBD. Um, they have to have control points here, which they then use to label forces. So I'll add one it A, click Add, and then I move this to where I want it to go. So A will be the first box here on the left. And I'll put another one called B, which will be the box on the top, and then a third one called C, which of course will be the box here on the right. And now I need to draw forces on these control points. So students have the option to actually click and drag their forces um, right off the bat. For us, because we have these control points here, um, I first have to choose the type I want, which in this case I'll say, okay, gravity first. I'll say I want it to come not from the origin, from, from point A at an angle of 270 degrees. Click draw, and it appears on the screen. I can now move the force to refine the angle, as you see as I move this force. The angle here next to um, FG gravity A changes. So I'll, I'll change it back to 270. But I'll add some more. So I want a new force. Um, again, gravity, this time from B at 270. I'll draw that one. And then I also have one, of course, at the control point C. And what you do is you just keep drawing your forces on until it's complete. So I'll do that right now. All right, so I've drawn all the forces. As you can see, I've, I've used all of them except for um, static friction. That will be, um, of course, a distractor that students might get confused when they have to label this force right here. I can, of course, click on anyone here to refine what the angles are or use the drop-down menu here. I can choose to delete them all or click on one to delete or adjust. But once I'm happy with my completed FBD, click OK, and I'll save this question. And now students can respond to this question themselves. And as you can see, it's very similar to the author view. They can um, click on each point to draw a new one, and they can choose what it is, which is unique from the author experience. Or they can do it the same way. They click on new force. They, they choose the type that they want, where it goes, and the angle. And that's how you create a free body diagram question.